Hello, Paris. Hope you're having a good weekend so far. It's Saturday, just had dinner. Time to talk about Buccaneers once again. Uh, we all know Kick's Eye made a bit of a mess uh, leading up to the January raid. Uh, and there's a lot of things for us to review uh, before we go into February's raid. So let me share my build with you, the where's and why's and what's going on. Um, some things didn't change. These ships, they need countermeasures. There are two turrets you can countermeasure. The rocket style one can be countermeasured by sprints or tridents only. And the single missile turret can be countermeasured by uh, the flanks. Okay, the sprint uh, doesn't fire at it. So you need both in the fleet. Uh, make sure flanks has longer accuracy, uh, sorry, better accuracy by using uh, a countermeasure buffing special, as we'll see in, in a moment. My base build didn't change either, so that's from my previous video. Um, six cannons per ship, that's a given. At least one ballistic charged armor. And same specials. I know there's a problem with Siege Battery 4 right now, it's not working. Kixai, uh shared that they're hard at work to fix it, so let's expect they have a fix for that before the raid. Okay, um, then we have Speed System 6 and CL3. So these are the basics, worked really well, should keep working. But there's something new there you could use instead of Speed System 6, and I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, a few things you should not put on your ships because they're not effective. Autoloader 4, I know it's new, but it's a bad choice because autoloader 2 or drum reloaders actually do better than autoloader 4 so don't do it agility system or anything adding evade doesn't really make a difference everything in that target seems to be area of effect so having more or less evade doesn't change anything um, one cic ballistic charged armor very important having a second helps but i'm not gonna say it's a must Especially because I know most people have a, a tough time getting charged armor. So get one, if you can get a second one. Uh, having one radioactive charged armor made a big difference on my fleet. So if you can get it, add one to each one of your Buccaneers. The radioactive plate, some people said it was working in January. And I have videos showing uh, from other people showing that it, it was. I checked this time against the Defensive Mastery TLC and it was not. So I'm leaving that out of my builds. I mean, if you want to take a risk and put radioactive plates in your ships, go for it. I did not see any improvement. I, I actually put it on two ships and it was no better. And focusing on specials that give extra splash, uh, not worth it. I mean, you could, you could even question using Nuclear Accelerator 2 in there because that adds to your build time, uh, gives more splash, but that extra splash doesn't seem to be a key factor in doing better. It doesn't hurt. It, I'm just saying it doesn't help a lot. Um, a few things I tested before, so I, I still still stand here that nuclear accelerator one or two are better than Canon System 4. Um, CL3 overall better than LA3. Last month, it seemed LA3 was actually better in the Buccaneer Elite target, but not, absolutely not in the 80s. And in the Defensive Mastery TLC, CL3 was also superior. So it's a little bit of an unknown, but I would hedge my bets on CL3. Any mix of uh, man, drum reloader, and man is the mass augmentation axis, drum reloader, auto loader 2, or uh, Siege Targeting 4 HVR, they are all good specials, mix and match at will, they will all make your ship better. So a few combos you could go, Nuclear Accelerator 1, Mass Augmentation Nexus, Siege Targeting 4, or Nuke Excel 2, Siege Targeting 4, Drum Reloader, or NA2, Drum Reloader, HVR, or, uh, you know, like Auto Loader 2 with NA and HVR, they all work. Okay, so I know Brian and George are hard on the math to see exactly what's better than what, like on the numbers, but in practicing the targets, 
any of these three, four combos I'm talking about are good. Now we had a big problem um, when Kicks Eye really screwed the pooch here. I, I don't know how to say that. I mean, they gave us wrong information, right? Uh, at first, as you can see on the bottom right, uh, they Rampage said they added Shield Tech System 3 to the open store and that was going to help us in the raid. Uh, GDR Specs on the Battle Pirates account posted the same thing, saying, hey, you know, it's good, yeah, it helps. And it made sense because the basic Buccaneer has, as, as you can see at the top, 50% tactical field resistance, so that should help, right? Uh, so everybody, you know, and, and I recommended that, put Shield Tech 3 on your ships. Then we saw it was not helping much, just about 10%, 5% better against the 80s last raid, and was actually working against you in the elite target. And I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole because there was a horrible design flaw in the target that Kicks I already said they're going to fix. So, bottom line, uh, Major Rampage came out and pretty much said, as you can see on the left here, that tactical field resistance will not reduce damage from fields. Um, siege battery, uh, they, they're working on fixing it. And, and so anyways, as you're going to see now, I am not recommending Siege Targeting, Siege Target 3. If you want more details, uh, Rampage made two more posts um, uh, in the past couple days, or yesterday actually, um, detailing. So he said he went really deep into how these things work, spoke with developers and everything. So in summary, it seems we've worked with wrong information since that special was released three four years ago uh and i'm not going to read everything you can if you want it's on forum but what he said as an example is the fire field does damage and tactical field resistance does not reduce the damage done by any of these fields what what it does is is reduces the other effect so if there is a resistance debuff it reduces that. If there is a combat or turn speed slowdown, it reduces that. So you don't get as slow as you would without it. Or your resistance doesn't get dropped by as much as it would without it. But it does not affect the damage done by the field, which is very different from what we, we, we've always thought it was before. So on one hand, I'm glad that this whole mess made them dig, dig into it and give us the right information. On the other hand, WTF, guys. I mean, it took that long for us to really be told how the special works. So, anyways, that's it. And so, if you have STS-3 or Tactical Insulator on your ships, it will not make them worse than they would be without it. It's just not going to help much. And so you're better off using that slot for a better, more effective special. That's the end of the story. What I think now, but I'm not going to dwell on that too long. People spend a lot of tokens and shipyard time putting Siege Targeting 3 on their ships or Tactical Insulator. And I think XI should refund players somehow for that. I'm just going to leave it at that. Moving on. New thing is, uh, we have now ballistic resistors and radioactive resistors, and they are alternatives to Speed System 6. Two things, beware. Um, if you change that in one ship, you've got to change in all five of them because the resistors are slower than Speed System 6. So the trade-off is, do you want more speed or do you want more resistance? I'm going to say you want more resistance. But at the same time, if you don't think you can refit all five ships before raid, you cannot do just two or three of them because then your, your fleet will not stack. So it's an all or nothing thing with them. All right. Um, so stage one build, if, if you're still building your uh, buckies and you don't think you can get them 100% done for the next raid, get them like this, just what you see right here. Okay, 
put the cannons, put sprints on three of them, just like you see on the left, put one ballistic charged armor, um, siege battery four, assuming Kixai is going to fix that, CL3 nuclear accelerator one, and speed system six. Okay, if you have the resistors, you could put them instead, one of them. Okay, and this way the ships already can already work. You can already do raid with ships like that. That was pretty much how I started my last raid, and they were killing 80s. Okay, and then with the tokens from the raid, I was able to add a few more things, but that works. Uh, what you see on the right is the flank ship uh, to shoot the single missile turret. That one has the special instead of Siege Battery 4 FCLS for buffing the accuracy and range of the flanks. The rest is the same. By using Nuclear Accelerator 1, you save a day per ship in the build. But if you want a splash and you think the extra day per ship is worth that splash, use Nuclear Accelerator 2. Entirely your choice. Okay? So that's stage 1. Next step is, if you can put the other two specials, and you're going to see I'm offering you three options here, and they are all good. On the left, it's what I have. I have uh, HVR for more ballistic damage, more building damage, and more projectile speed. And I have Autoloader 2, which, as I said, is much better than Autoloader 4. Don't be fooled. So that's my ship. Uh, at the center, if you went with Nuclear Accelerator 1, you can use the MAN, the special that came out with the Bucky, that's going to give you a lot of critical hits, and Siege Targeting 4. Okay, on the right, if you don't have the special, you could use Drum Reloaders and Siege Targeting 4. All these three builds have similar results. You're not going to be bad, you know, you're not going to be worse off with by picking one or the other. Um, also, if you can, absolutely add one radioactive charged armor. So that that's, I would say, you know, a, a winning fleet. I mean, if you can get four buckies, three like these ones, one with the countermeasures, go for it and you will be happy. Okay, that's my final setup. So on the, on, on the empty armor slot, I put a D2R. I might put a third charged armor later on, whenever I decide whether I want a third ballistic or a second radioactive. Um, I may change speed system 6 for ballistic resistor uh, if the Buccaneer Elite target remains heavily tilted towards ballistic damage. Then I will put the ballistic re resistor and a third C1C. Okay, If not, I may balance radioactive on the resistor and ballistic on the armor or vice versa. So that's something I still don't know, but I can guarantee you this setup will work really well. Okay, based on everything we've seen so far, unless Kickside uh, you know, creates another massive screw up. Uh, flagship, so two flagship options. Uh, I, I, I built mine as you see on the left. So just to be different, I didn't follow the other ones, uh, the other Buccaneers with HVR and Autoloader 2, as I could have. You see, on, you see that on the right. Instead, I went Nuclear Accelerator 1, uh, Siege Target 4, and Mass Augmentation Axis, just to see the difference, okay? Uh, just for fun, pretty much. But if, you, if, you're, if you're a bit of an OCD person and you want your fleets to be all the same, do it, do it as you see on the right. Now, you notice uh, an old cannon in one slot. That's because you could not put another peak accelerator cannon. Uh, the extra armor on the Buccaneer's boom makes it too heavy uh, when you put some specials in there. So you absolutely can't fit all seven or eight cannons. So on the left, what I did, I have seven cannons and one Siege Cannon Z. And I do that for the extra speed because I want the Buccaneers boom to lead the other ships just by a little bit on auto. So it takes the first fire, you know, because it has just a lot more armor and it's cheaper to repair than the other ones. Okay, so that's the trick. If you don't think you need that, if you're going to drive your ships, just put a cannon in there. 
okay, or a countermeasure, or even leave the slot empty. That's entirely up to you. Uh, if you don't have the Buccaneer boom, you could have, like I did in the first month, a Highland nuclear cruiser as a flagship, leave it in the corner, or an unshackled Hellhound, leave it in the corner, because it gives 50% radioactive defense. This was very important, especially when I didn't have any radioactive charged armor. It, it was huge in terms of saving damage on my ships. Just keep in mind, if you use these flagships, your fleet will not be allowed in the elite target, so you have to do the 80s, which is not a bad deal. So that's it. I uh, hope it was useful. If you have any questions, post in the comments or on the TFC page. Take care, everyone. I uh, hope you all can have a good raid, and so can I. See you next time.